QuickBooks Pro Desktop 2021. Uh, generate reports without account numbers. Let's get into it with Intuit's QuickBooks Pro Desktop 2021. Here we are in our sample file. We currently have the open windows open. You can open the open windows by going to the view dropdown, selecting the open windows list. We're going to be opening up our chart of accounts, lists dropdown, chart of accounts. We currently have the account numbers on. We imported and adjusted the account numbers. You can turn the account numbers on by going to the edit dropdown, preferences, accounting up top, company preferences, account numbers on, closing this back out. The reason we're going to add account numbers oftentimes or one of the main reasons is that it gives us more flexibility to order the accounts at least within the basic account types, which is kind of like the primary order and we typically want to think of things as. Well, what if we want to generate reports and look at the account numbers and, and what if we want to generate reports without the account numbers? So for example, let's take a look at a profit and loss report and go to the reports drop down company and financial and take a look at the P&L. And I'm going to say this is going to be from 010125 to 123125. So here it is. And, and when I look at it internally, I look at these account numbers and they're great because I want them there because it makes it easier for me to go back in and out of the report. But if I was to give it to, say, a client or something like that, I may not want the account numbers on there. Now, the easiest way to remove the, the account numbers is simply to go back into the edit field and remove them as you generate reports. So, for example, for my day-to-day -day work, I might have the account numbers in there. And when I, print, when I generate the reports on like a monthly basis, possibly to prepare for a client or supervisor or something like that, and I want to clean it up without the account numbers, then maybe I simply go into the edit field, preferences, and then I go to the accounting tab, company preferences, and we remove the account numbers and say, okay. And then that'll just, here we are in our sample file. We currently have the open windows open. You can open the open windows by going to the view dropdown, selecting the open windows list. We're going to go to the lists dropdown, open up the chart of accounts. Here's going to be our chart of accounts. We currently have the account numbers in place. We've been adjusting the account numbers in prior presentations. We now want to think about what would the reports look like if we had account numbers and if we wanted to remove the account numbers. So let's take a look at that now by going to the reports dropdown company and financial let's take a look at the profit and loss standard report changing the dates up top from 010125 to 123125 there's our reports we have the account numbers within them that's great for me internally i want to see the account numbers when creating and building the books however when presenting the books to someone else like like a client then maybe i don't want the account numbers maybe i would like to remove them so how can i remove the account numbers well, we can do that in the preferences and simply turn them off and then turn them back on uh, when we when we want to use them internally. So we'll just at the end of the month, we could turn them off. The question there would be, well, if I turn off the account numbers just simply to print the reports for uh, people at the at the month end, will I lose that extra formatting that I had with the account numbers? In other words, will the internal accounts within each category or sub account category go back to the alphabetical order? Or will I be able to maintain the added control I had to, to order these things with the use of the account numbers within the account type categories? And I believe it's going to help. It's going to leave the account number ordering that we had set up even when we convert back and turn the account numbers off. So for example, within this subcategory of the construction, if I turned it off, is this going to go out of alphabetical order? Meaning you would think construction would be would be higher up on the list, right? It would be like number one this 402 if i was to remove it and for example if i go down here to to the uh to the payroll you would think that uh that the futa would would be moved up as well uh to the to the second item so we have some of these orderings that w will they change the order if i remove the account number am i going to lose that control so this is what we would do we would go to the edits edit to the left or to the drop down preferences and I'm going to go to the accounting up top. We're going to go to the company preferences. And we're simply going to remove the account numbers. Now, we're not going to lose them when we do this. They're still there. Uh, well, they're saved in the system. And then we could just turn them on right after we print the report. So I'm going to say OK. And there we have it. And I'm going to refresh the report and just check it out again. So if I take a look at the report again. So, so now we have the design up top. But this construction is still on the bottom here. So it doesn't look like it resorted that that uh, that particular account. And if we go down to the bottom down here, for example, to the payroll that we were looking at, 
It doesn't look like it resorted this item. Let's take a look at the chart of accounts. If I go to the chart of accounts now, and I, I look at the ordering of the chart of accounts, for example, within the payroll, did it reorder some of these items? Like you would think this one would be on top here. Doesn't look like it uh, reordered uh, the items here. So notice it's kind of sustaining the ordering that we put into place with the account numbers even once we turn the account numbers off. Let's double check it again by actually generating the profit and loss again. What, what happens if I generated a new profit and loss? Will it adjust the order of the reports to be more in alphabetical order? Reports drop down, company and financial, profit and loss, opening a new one. And we'll just keep it at this range. We'll keep it there and just say, okay, is this, is this in order? So if I scroll down here, uh, say to that uh, payroll item. So once again, it's keeping the order with the chart of accounts. So that therefore, we could just simply turn the account numbers off and we should still maintain that, that control we had with the account numbers, generate the reports that we can then uh, provide to clients for, for the end of the month possibly, and then simply turn the, the chart of accounts back on so that we can have them on for internal use by going to the edit dropdown and the preferences accounting company preferences and then turn them back on and say okay so that's kind of the and then i'm going to refresh this item and there's our account numbers again so what you want to do if you're going to use that method of course if you want to present the reports without the account numbers you want to make sure that uh, you turn them back on every time when you go back into internal use so that uh, whenever you add an account you're, you're you're optimizing and using the account numbers and then and then you can make that adjustment for the display purposes at a periodic time at the end of the month or year just to generate those reports for external use.